Our tip of the week this week is building energy model visualization. This is one of the nice things about Archicad, uh, inter it's, it's energy analysis tool, is that it really does give you some, some um, nice methods to visualize uh, what you're doing within that, that energy model. The way it does that is uh, your energy model review dialog here uh, has some options in it that allow us to, to view our um, energy model. And so as you can see here, we can show zone volumes, we can show unused zones, and we can show uncovered areas. So if we say show zone volumes, what we're going to be doing is we're now visualizing the internal spaces in 3D, which you can see here where all of a sudden the, the model becomes a wireframe, and now we're just reviewing only the, um, the zones uh, within that. If we use show unused zones, this will actually highlight, as you can see in this uh, particular graphic, it will highlight visible Archicad zones that do not belong to any thermal blocks in your building energy model. So if you've gone through, you've defined your energy blocks, uh, your thermal blocks, and maybe you missed a space, this is a really great way of going through and making sure that you've actually assigned all the zones to thermal blocks in the building. And if you haven't, to uh, then know what you need to do. And then this is show uncovered areas. It's basically highlight surfaces that do not have space boundaries associated with them. So in other words, you know, when you put a zone in, uh, it's, it should be connecting some sort of a boundary. And um, you know, ideally, you know, this, these are great for um, you know, building structures and opening surfaces that are covered by space boundaries. So uncovered areas indicate model in accuracy. So this is actually a really nice thing to kind of look at model inaccuracies as well. So when we want to visualize our thermal blocks, that can be done by uh, going through and looking at uh, the different colors here, right? So we can actually assign uh, different thermal blocks like storage basement, staircase, retail, office. So in other words, you could basically create these thermal blocks for different types of usages within your project. Or if it's just like a house, you might just have one thermal block which is conditioned uh, rather than breaking into each individual room. And typically that's kind of what I see happen is usually unless you've got, a, if you have a big project, like a commercial project, then you're probably going to want to break it up as office space, uh, maybe retail space different, staircase is different. That makes a lot of sense. But if you have a, a space, a house like a, a a home, a residential project, then you know you're probably just breaking into one big thermal block for your your um, conditioned space versus your unconditioned space. Model elements that are not shown the wireframe. So here you can see uh, when we go to our thermal blocks here. If I click the staircase, it's just going to define. It's going to select only the stairs within this these thermal blocks, right? Whereas here, I'm seeing all of my thermal blocks when I select them, okay? Or I can go on my tree view, which is uh, allows me to actually, again, select individual parts. So if I just want to select, for example, that retail store, it's going to show me just that area of that thermal block. So these are just different ways that you can visualize the um, thermal blocks within a project. Uh, you can also use uh, this to visualize different um, space boundaries. So as we can see here, uh, by selecting several of these, I can see where those are within my project. Again, just gives me a really nice way of visualizing these different areas within um, my 3D view. Now, you can also customize the different colors. So if you go to your work environment, uh, you and you open that up, on on-screen options here, there is a panel where you can actually open that up. And that's the energy evaluation model review colors. So external colors are going to be orange. Uh, on ground are blue. Uh, the uh, underground uh, horizontal are sort of a darker blue. Uh, underground angled are brown. Your internal are green. Openings are yellow. And then if you want a uniform for all, you know, all of it, you can make it uh, be gray. But these are different colors that you can assign to the different parts of your uh, zones. And then you can also visualize your openings. So doors or windows or skylights, 
If you were to select those individually or as a whole, they will then uh, visualize, you can see those visualized in the 3D uh, wireframe mode as just those openings you selected. And that is our tip of the week.